For Jesus fasted for 40 days in the desert, tempted by Satan. Now, what the hell does that all mean? Well, you won't know unless you fast. I got to tell you, discipline yourself to refrain from consumption. You're going to be attacked by demons from all sides. Most people eat uh, as an emotional crutch. And so when you go into this state, you literally are doing battle with your inner beta. Fasting as a health and fitness practice has been catching on in the mainstream, but fasting has been around for thousands of years. So it's interesting to me that we're only paying attention to it now. The ancient Greeks fasted, the Egyptians fasted. Some of our Muslim friends are practicing Ramadan. I began fasting for the first time in 2002 when I was introduced to the Baha'i faith. My very first experience with fasting was revolutionary. It revolutionized my body and revolutionized my mind. You believe that fat people should simply stop eating for days and days on end in order to lose weight. How did you come to that conclusion? So at the very start, when I started fasting, I didn't know anything about fasting. Okay. In fact, a few years back before I even started, like when people were doing Ramadan, like when Muslims are doing Ramadan, I thought that was actually hardcore. And then what happened, I'm a fitness trainer. I used to be a fitness trainer. I kind of gave it up, but I had one girl that I was training and she was a fucking food addict and I just got sick and tired of it. You know, I got sick and tired of training people and you, you know, you put your heart and soul into getting results, but then the one thing that's not fucking fixed is a goddamn food addiction, right? So this one girl, I challenged her to a 24 hour fast and I didn't know if fasting was healthy or not. I didn't care. I didn't give a <laughs> shit if it was healthy. I knew 24 hours wasn't going to kill her because I've had that, you know, for surgeries and stuff before having uh, anesthetic, anesthetics or whatever, right? And uh, I, because I'm your fearless leader, right? I did yeah. a 36-hour fast, so I basically just went two nights without food. And that's when it all started. She did the 24, and then I went to 36, and 36 hours was actually enough to kick me into ketosis. So we can get into that a little more later. But basically, if you fast long enough, this isn't a ketogenic diet. You're actually forcing ketosis because you're dumping all the sugar out of your liver, essentially all the liver glycogen, and your body's got to shift. It has no choice. It's got to start burning body fat for fuel. And you use the ketone bodies for energy. So when I did this first fast, I didn't know anything, but I felt it. In the morning, it was, I think I started fasting on a Friday night. And then I woke up Sunday morning. Uh, Saturday night, I was going through withdrawals, like just, you know, sugar withdrawals like anybody else. And then I woke up Sunday morning when I finally got to sleep. And I felt like a million bucks. Everything was brighter. And that, I would have been in ketosis. I didn't even know it, right? I didn't even know anything about ketosis. So then at that point, like I'm a pig. I, I was encouraged to eat huge meals my whole life since I was a little kid, which I think that should be every, every parent should be pushing their kid to eat big meals and fasting long, not this fucking six meal a day bullshit because it builds stomach capacity, which most people don't got now. So anyway, I started eating one meal a day and I was eating just a big breakfast. And so, as things went, I think I, I was about, you know, I just keep pushing myself, right? I'm like, how cool is this? I'm eating one big meal a day now and I'm losing weight like crazy. And I haven't done anything. I just pretty much took two big meals and squashed it into one meal. And then I was losing weight. And then I'm like, well, let's take it a little farther. Let's try doing a 48 hour fast. And so that went good. So I did a 48 and like with training because you know, I'm all about performance. I'm not, I talk about this. I'm not some hippie faster. Yeah. Off the internet. Just, you know, I'm, it's a performance thing. If, if I was, if I could maintain a, a strong lean body doing this, I wouldn't be doing it. Right. I want to still be strong. I, I, I'm all about body composition and, you know, having a good strength to weight ratio. And so I did a 48 hour fast that was on water, plain water. Now, this is before I got into the salts. And then the next one I did was a 72 hour fast. And that one was when I got taxed at about 72 hours. I went to the gym, did some deadlifts and I was light, like I was lightheaded, like I had to take a five minute breather between every set. And then I have an old mentor that's actually been helping me with training for years. And he used to be an old school bodybuilder, you know, drug free bodybuilder. And we were talking about salts and shit. And I got into reading about the cell, you know, cell metabolism and like potassium and sodium and all this other shit. And then I added salts in the two main, the two main salts, sodium and potassium. And then at that point, I'm like, well, let's try a hardcore fast. And I did eight days. So after I did three days on the fresh water and got taxed, 
See, some fat people, they could go on the fresh water for days on end, like not days on end, but longer than I went because of the exercise it taxed me. So some people be, some people might say, oh, they fasted on fresh water for how many ever days? That's because they weren't doing fuck all. They were sitting on their ass, right? Mm -hmm. But I wanted to be able to fast and go do shit. So eventually you'll get taxed on those electrolytes no matter what, especially just hammering fresh water because you're just pissing out the electrolytes. Like it actually dehydrates you after a while. So I started knocking this salt back and I went eight days work training every day. Now I didn't do any cardio, but I went into the gym and just, you know, did full body, you know, your, your basic compounds, no grinders, no failure. And I made it eight days and I lost, I think it was something around 16 pounds. Like it worked <laughs> out to about two pounds a day. And that is the, that is when I knew I was onto something. 